To me, art is when you can tell a compelling story through an image. And movies are one of those images, um, or various images that you can really tell art through. Hello, my name is Nestor Pearl Quinn, and some people may know me as a very huge fan of movies. Some people may know me as actually wanting to create my own movies, and I have done so. I have filmed some stuff, not big movies, but of course short films. I would love to. I call them movies, so, so what? But I really do think that film is one of the top arts in my opinion it is you can tell an awesome story through a camera lens and you can pretty much have actors in front of it and really act it out emotionally and you really get into it you get invested into the characters which is why i really love film it's uh maybe on like a movie is an hour and 30 minutes to maybe three hours and you can see um how how awesome how awesome the, the actual art is that you become invested in these characters you really care for them which is something that I really in enjoy with film I really really enjoy film due to the fact that you can really tell this amazing compelling story with nothing else but a camera and a person in front of it ever since I can remember I've always loved the movies I've always loved going to the movies I would beg my parents almost every weekend can we please go to the movies this weekend and they'll get tired of it because of course the movie theaters are super expensive but the actual art of movies has always been invested in me I've always loved I've always wanted to actually spend time actually to create something and really have people love it own it on DVD I mean watch it over and over that's something that I do as as a big fan of film myself, I do that. I watch people's movies over and over. And I really want to be able to touch someone as Martin Scorsese and Quentin Tarantino have really touched me when it comes to film. Um, they have really they have really inspired me to do what I what I love and get a camera and just film what I can. I want to be able to make it look cinematic. I want to be able to tell a compelling story with nothing else but a camera and a person in front of it. Or if not even an animal or just an object, something that tells a story. And really, what you, all you need is a camera and a very good skill set uh, to be able to actually tell a story through just the smallest object. You really need skill for that because it's not. If you actually re record just a perfume bottle, you're not gonna get much. You're not gonna get much out of it. But if you're able to actually with the camera, with the actual camera movements, techniques, or whatever, you can actually maybe tell a story. And I don't know what you can tell with a perfume bottle, but. You never know, some people have done some creative stuff. In 1992, Reservoir Dogs debuted, and that was Quentin Tarantino's directorial debut. And that was that's considered one of the best independent movies of all time. And Quentin Tarantino really did inspire me, mainly because he was just a, a DVD store clerk. And then he raised enough money to be able to make this amazing story with the first scene that it's pop culture, stuff that you relate to, talking about Madonna song. Who's a regular fuck machine? Now I'm talking morning, day, night, afternoon. Dick, 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 dick. And just that type of those types of movies are just so awesome. Um, Richard Linklater's Boyhood and Days and Confused. You can relate to these characters, and to me, that is something that. I really appreciate due to the fact that it is amazing. It is amazing that you think of these characters as your friends. And that's just something that I want to create. Steven Spielberg's movies are amazing also. I mean, these these movies really make you emotional. I mean, Saving Pride Ryan, those first 20 minutes, you feel like you're on that battlefield with those soldiers. You're scared for your life. It is so scary. It is so thrilling. And that's something that's really cool at cinema, that you can feel like you were on that dreadful day in World War II. You can really feel like you were you were part of the, that squad um, fighting against the German in Omaha Beach, 1944. I'm sorry, 1944, I believe. One of my greatest memories with film is really working with my with my older brother Danny, and we used to make these YouTube videos, and that was our start. We used to actually always talk about that we want to make movies. We can probably make movies together. We've always been talking about that, and we actually worked on these um, little YouTube videos, these skits, and we thought that that they're hilarious. I mean, they're terrible, but we thought that there's something really cool because we created this. We would show it to our families. We would have a big thing um, on Sunday nights and we would just watch our new videos. And we were so happy with these videos. I mean, even though they're terrible, um, we got bashed on a lot for them being so bad on the YouTube comments. But you know what? These videos really did help us out because we actually had an idea of what we were doing. Um, with the cameras, we actually learned a lot with these videos and we now create stuff that's way better than just these videos of little kids running around and saying just random stuff. People like the great Stanley Kubrick 
and just the way that he also made his movies. Stanley Kubrick, he is one of the greats. He is one of the greatest filmmakers um, who ever lived. And just his style is very unique. And that's something that I want to be able to do. I want to be able to create my own style. As Quentin Tarantino has his own style. Spielberg has his own style. Scorsese and um, Kubrick, J.J. Abrams, etc. These All these directors are just so amazing at what they do. They they each have their, their own style. Um, you can... You can, you can tell what a Quentin Tarantino movie is, you can tell what a Stanley Kubrick movie is. And that's something that I want to be able to uh, achieve in my film career. As far back as I can remember, I always wanted to be a gangster. So with the help of my inspirations, Quentin Tarantino, the modern day Hitchcock, Steven Spielberg, and Martin Scorsese, etc. And of course the help of my family, the inspiration of my brothers. I really want to do this. I really want to be able to help have people enjoy my movies and help people out also create their movies and help, and help them start off because it really is difficult. But you can do it and you really could make something really cool. You can make something that you can relate to. You can make something that you become invested in. And film is one of the greatest arts of all time. In my opinion, it is the greatest art because you can show so much with just a camera. And what I really wanted to, my message here is that if you really want to make movies, please go out there, get yourself a camera, work for it, and do what you got to do and just create stuff. Because you know what, it is one of the best feelings ever. When you have somebody watch it and they say that they really enjoyed it, that is one of the best feelings. And I really hope one day to have a big fan base who enjoy my movies. I really hope that I can walk the Academy Awards, not even win an Oscar, but just be nominated or just be present there watching the Academy Awards. Because once I sit there, I know that I, I, I made it. I mean, that's something that I'm just so excited to be able to say that I made it. I want to be able to make it to Hollywood, have people enjoy my movies. Think of them as these huge blockbusters. And hopefully one day that will happen. So guys, I'm Nestor Vado King. And please take my advice and just go out there and film.